Hello Taurus, welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is going to be a twin flame soulmate reading. And happy birthday to those that are still having Taurus birthdays, of course. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Scorpio full moon coming up. And I, do, I will invite all of you to listen to Scorpio's message because I feel that it was a message for everybody to hear. There's a lot of change happening, transformation into new life. It's time to take the wisdom that we've gained to move forward, release all that's not serving us, let some things come to closure that need to be, reflect on what you've learned, and surrender to the truth, because it is a time of blessings and a time of abundance and gifts being realized, wishes coming true. And Taurus is, you know, the I have that, you know, enjoys the civility, the tangible results. Well, tangible things are coming to you, Taurus for stability and, and knowing your purpose and you're strong enough to survive whatever's going on and expand your horizons, expand your mind, expand your belief systems beyond what you know. You know, ask the questions why, allow yourself to transform. And I pulled a spirit animal um, card prior to this so I could pray and, and get some guidance for what's going on on your journey Taurus and it's a 53 which is an 8 and to me that's a twin flame soulmate divine partner type sign infinite blessings infinite intelligence is with you your magical manifesting time so you are the creator of your own reality you are the magician so whatever you're thinking whatever you're imagining now it will come into reality so what are you thinking what are you imagining the seahorse spirit says watch and wait like you, you shot your bow and arrow to the target, right, of your target intention. It's time to let go and allow the universe to surprise and delight you with these gifts and these wishes coming true. And just watch and wait. Be patient. Know that it's all coming together in divine timing. And what I feel like it's what Spirit's saying to all of you is watch and wait because it's going to be even better than you could ever imagine. And have fun doing that. Have fun watching and waiting and knowing that everything is working out for you. And you deserve abundance. You deserve you deserve it. Because you do. You deserve to enjoy the finer things in life. That's all right. You like that. You love the beautiful things. Mother Nature is beautiful. The ocean's beautiful. Uh, for Perhaps for someone is going to go on a vacation in this, on a cruise or... You know, I keep thinking a Little Mermaid. Under the sea. Under the sea. Snorkeling. I don't know. I don't know why all these funny songs come to me, um, but I feel very Little Mermaid-ish, like having celebrating, having fun with family and friends, and doing things that you've never done before, you know, that kind of a thing. Yeah, what did I say? Oh my gosh. Okay, really? To start off, seriously, Taurus? 5353? So 53 means something to someone out there. But also, 5-5, five, five, change, blessings, the Ascended Masters are with you, 3-3, three, three. Um, but they both add up to 8. I told you. And look, this is, this, is, this is Spirit saying, you are the magician. You have all the tools, Taurus, to create your own reality. What do you want to create? Dream bigger. Think bigger. Because it's all coming into your reality. You have control over what you do and how you react to things. And what this in listening to your divine guidance, listening to your truth. You don't have control over everyone else, but you do have control over yourself. It's time to take that control, listen to your guidance, and move forward. Wow. To start off is just it's magical. It's a magical time of blessings. Appreciate what you have. Yes, you've done this, Taurus. You're very good about this. Appreciating what you have, appreciating the finer things in life, reminiscing of the past and and how far you've come and and you know, you know that you're strong and you in the comforts of life. Yeah. And all this stuff that you've planted the seeds to is coming into fruition now. So it's like all your past work is being, you're being paid back in tenfold. So appreciate it. So thank you. Appreciate yourself. You know, take time for yourself. Appreciate the small things. Perhaps someone has lost sense of the small things in life and is really so concentrated on the big things that you for, sometimes we forget about appreciating the small things. The friendships we have, the love in our life, our divine partner, our children, um, the, the food that we can put on the table, how beautiful we are and how, how, how strong and sufficient we are, right? It's time to appreciate and love yourself. 
Time for some solar plexus healing here. Okay, this is your personal PowerPoint, standing your ground, your confidence, your strength, your endurance, right? That's this. So it's standing in your truth, and that's that's a 10. It's ending of cycles, ending ending the cycle of, of feeling overpowered by someone or something because you realize now that you have the power within. You have the power to, to make your own choices. Nobody or nothing has power over you. And you're confident in yourself. You're feeling creative. It's you know time to end the cycles of, of the lack and bring in the abundance. The sun is shining in on your life right now. Um, the door to romance is open and there's another um, three, all those threes, you know, it's divinely guided. This is the love of a lifetime. All you have to do is unlock the door to your heart and set it free to experience it. Speak your truth, right? Speak your truth. Healing the, th the throat chakra, opening up the space, being creative, working on a project that you've been wanting to do. You're the magician. You're, this is going to be extremely abundant, whatever this is, or it's a relationship. Speaking your truth to someone. Tell them how you feel. Open your heart. Tell someone how you feel. It's time to speak up, Taurus. It's time to spill it. Yeah, you're ending this anxiety, right? It's the endings of anxiety, worrying. You, you're, you, can tend, you tend to be worriers you know, uh, about things. If you get in that particular lower vibrating energy, you worry about stuff, you think, you think, 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 you know, and so it's, it's time to end that. It's time to end that cutting through the illusions of fear, their false reality into the truth, which is love opening your heart space. That's why the angel of love is here. Yeah. This was upside down as well. So the endings of feeling financially constrained, you know, for you Taurus, you're good. This is stability, for stability. So no more of this. Like things are happening. You're manifesting these creative ideas that you have, that you're manifesting these ideas to come to you. Take action on them because they're fruitful. And you no longer have to worry about this. You have enough to offer. So go for it. Go for it. You have enough to offer. And sometimes we need to be patient, right? We need to be patient while things are being worked out by the universe. But you yourself, you can take action now. You can take action in healing, healing yourself and coming into balance and opening up your heart and taking the walls down because you, you have enough. You're, you're ready. I feel like you're ready, Taurus. I feel like you're ready to express yourself and your truth. We're going to get a little peek at your divine partner. And just remember how beautiful you are. You're a beautiful goddess. You're a beautiful god. You, you have a beautiful heart and you're surrounded by love from the universe and love Love from this divine partner, this divine partnership that's either with it, you're in union now or you'll be coming into union. But speak your truth. Open up because people don't read minds. I mean, maybe some of us do, but we, you know, we don't do it on purpose. We don't invade. <laughs> but we can't always read the mind. It's good to speak up. Communication is key. Okay, so your divine partner, Taurus, is knows the truth. Okay? They've risen above. They've done the work. They know the truth. They know the truth about themselves. They know the truth about why they're here. They're, they're awake. They're um, highly intuitive, very gifted spiritually, very much into their spirituality, um, bringing their own, the scales into balance. Even though that's one scale, it's like, look, I'm balancing on this scale, and then this is everything else that's going on, and I'm just finding that balance within. They found the balance. Judgment has been made about what they want to do and the truth about who they are. And, and very high, highly spiritual or religious person, I feel. More on the spiritual side, but it could be religion. But they know the truth. They know the truth about you. Yeah, they're moving on. Look, moving on from the dark and, and moving towards the light into this portal of new life. They're moving on. And look at right underneath the six, six and a six, blessings beauty their your partner is moving on towards you because they appreciate you they appreciate what they know you are and who they know you are and they're they're your your inner light shining and you doing the work on yourself and being aligned is shi is is calling them home that's what that's what they're telling me they're being called home they know the truth now they're being called home to you so open up your heart space because it's coming look you're being recognized and reward rewarded they're being recognized and rewarded and they see you as a reward so it's a couple different messages right this is your this is either whatever side you resonate with it doesn't matter or the whole thing is you but this is another 3 so if you start seeing threes i'm just saying it's happening 
and just move forward with that and know that you're protected that your your partner is being rewarded for look at like i said they're bringing themselves into balance they're letting go they're moving on finally from all this past stuff that has kept them held back before they're being recognized and rewarded for that for doing what they've done the, like i said blessings are coming to you all and look at this the empress they see you as the empress they see you as everything they see themselves as the emperor empress and they're 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 living in this abundant energy and they see you as abundant so look all that abundance and all this love and fertility very this partner is extremely creative a creative in romance they're going to be very creative in the way that they that they um express themselves romantically so open that door. I just feel like you got to open that door because they've moved on. They know the truth. They're being rewarded and blessed and they're extremely abundant. And they have great ideas. And you might, you, for some of you that want to have babies, you're going to be having babies with this person as a very fertile, abundant, or, or a, good, a good mother. Well, in any case, a good mother or a good father. Ooh, I'm so sorry. I bumped the table. Excuse me. But uh, so, uh, you know, coming together, families coming together, it's going to be very abundant. Uh, it's a good time. It's a high vibing. I feel very high vibed with this partnership. Yeah, and they, they no longer have to suffer in silence. They're at peace with this. Your partner's at peace with this. I just got this in the last reading, Aquarius, I believe. They're at peace with this. They're ending it. They're like, look, she, you know, she's at peace. She's like, he or she, you know, looking out and saying, okay, I get it now. I get it now. Today's a new day and I'm moving on. Moving into the light. They're ready to speak their truth. They're ready to hear the truth because they know it already. They're ready to hear it from you is what I'm hearing. See this throat chakra here? You know, speak your truth about suffering in silence. If you're within a partnership and you already have a partner but things have been kind of rough or just whatever, speak your truth to your partner who wants to hear. They don't want you to suffer in silence. No more will you ever have to suffer in silence because this partner, this twin flame soulmate is there for you. They got your back. Yeah. While you're going through changes, they've been going through financial changes. They've been, this, this person, um, your divine partner possibly has had some you know losses in finance but they're they're finding the balance with that they're no they're not in fear of that they're not suffering about finances anymore because they know how abundant they are so they're moving forward in a very beautiful way yeah look at that another three wow there is a lot of threes in this reading so that's really going to mean something to someone but three celebrating re rejoicing they are so happy for how far they've come and they, look at that they're being recognized and, re and rewarded and they're they're finally breaking free of these old thought patterns these self-defeating thought patterns you know suffering financially not making the best you know not making decisions for themselves they're they're knowing how abundant they are and look their big giant cup in in the back there your partners or this is you the, the big giant cup of love that you're sharing with everybody else, it's time to celebrate. It's time to allow the blessings to come in and look at what's right at the bottom. This is very, this infinity sign twin flame. Look at that giant cup. There it is. You guys are sharing with everybody else. This is a wedding. Somebody's going to get married. Somebody's definitely, this. your partner, you are not feeling constrained anymore. Look, look at this. You're finding the stability with finances. A ring is going to come for somebody. I, I do feel that a ring is going to come. And you're going to be celebrating it. It's a fertile time. Just, it's an amazing time. And this is this is faded. This is destiny, Taurus. And it's a very, it's an extremely healing relationship. You're you're both healers. You're both healers. In your own unique way, you're both healers, and you're going to come together, and you're really going to be helping others heal by being a living example, being a living example of of true unconditional love and that's what you're going to do for others so thank you for that thank you be the example open your heart space allow your life to be transformed and healed what do the romance angels have to say for Taurus? here we go chemistry yeah there's a strong magnetic attraction you feel it i mean this is you know, sacral chakra, the sacred sexuality, and underneath the door to romance. I mean, it's it's a, it's extremely powerful this connection with your partner, and whether you're in union or not, you can feel it. It's true love. Yeah, this is a romance of a lifetime. That's what I was feeling. This is it. Just open your heart, unlock unlock it. Come on now, and I can't wait to hear all about it.
And if you're, you know, if you're getting a ring, get it. The person's going to, I mean, it just feels so faded and so wonderful and so, and so blessed. And any, even if you're apart, you're still together energetically. It doesn't matter. Even if you're apart, you're still together. Somebody needed to hear that. They're still connecting with you. They're still with you. And they're, and it's all about divine timing with everything. The best thing we can do is work on ourselves, right? Heal ourselves. Appreciate what we have. Open our heart space. Let, let the, you know, let the crap go that doesn't serve us. No more sleepless nights. No more worrying. You know the truth. You're abundant. The emperor, the empress. And I do feel divine partnership. It's the love of a lifetime. I'm going to pull the wisdom of the oracle cards uh, uh, by Colette Baron Reed. We're going to we're going to pull one of these. Okay. And we're going to read the relationship part of it. Woo! Come to the edge. I like that. You don't know um, enough about me right now. I'm an I'm extremely passionate. Um, step outside of the box and push it to the edge in the most respectful, loving way of my life. Like I'm like that. I'm like, and I'm very passionate. And I'm and so this this really I I feel this coming to the edge. It's time to jump. It's time to take the leap. Right. You're coming to the edge, the end of something. Six, nine, or six plus three is nine. So endings, okay? So it's like you're ending certain things, but you're you're looking back with love. Look at that. You're looking back on the past, and it's sprinkled with love now. You've transformed it into love. All the pain, all the all the guilt, the resentment, any any lower vibrating energies. You've 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 transformed that into love so you're sprinkling your life you are sprinkling your life with love also the divine is pouring love upon you and healing upon you and it's it's you're just coming to the edge you know it's like you're you're at the edge and you're you're ready to jump is what i'm feeling so let's see what it has to say in the book wow and i can't, i opened up the book right to it <laughs> nice thank you spirit much easier that way essential meanings courage Taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting the risk. Yeah, love can be risky. Taking a chance, moving your life, whatever it is, it, it could be a risk, but it's worth the risk. It's worth the risk. It's I feel it's very abundant, fertile. It's scary to be truly intimate with someone, to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protected. Now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, say what you hope for. This is not the time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You will be glad you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step towards the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire. Yes. And watch and wait. It's going to be better than you thought. Take that leap of faith. It's, it's a beautiful confirmation of everything. Speak your truth. It's time. And my head's tingling like a crazy. So I cannot wait to hear about it. I appreciate all of you. Much love.